Hello everybody, I am trying to do a video and I have a little furry thing that's making it very difficult so I thought I'm just going to turn the camera on and show you what I'm dealing with if you can see because she's right up under the camera and then I'll pause it, um, give her a little cuddle, hey snuggles and pop her down and then we can get cracking so I'll be right back. Well, that was kind of a failed attempt. I went to try and put her down and she's just parked herself at the top of my desk and she's probably partly in frame. You might see a bit of a shadow that she's casting. Um, so let's see how we get on. Hello and welcome. So glad you could join me today and my furry little guest here at the top of my desk. Um, her name is Snuggles. My name is Belinda. I am working in my design team project for Creating with Jovi, this lovely little coffee-themed concertina journal. And I was watching Rachel Bella Crafts this morning, and she was doing a project on faux front envelopes. I have not made those, literally, for years, and I had forgotten about them. Uh, originally, the idea came from Gail Agostinelli, which is where I saw them years ago and made some back then. And then... There's so much happening, isn't there, in the junk journal world. Like, you just can't literally keep up with everything or keep everything in your head. And so this idea of the faux front envelopes just kind of dissipated into the, the past. Well, watching Rachel from Rachel and Bella Crafts today do faux front envelopes really inspired me. I thought, right, I'm going to make one for this coffee journal. So I have just an ordinary envelope here, so I grabbed one out and made sure that it would fit on my page. I've reprinted a couple, Snuggles, can I have my pages please? Thank you. Reprinted a couple of the journal pages that I can use for collaging. I've got all the bits of ephemera from the kit to the side here. A couple of extra bits of um, the cutouts from the scrapbook pad that I have been using to partner with this and I've got this um, still got this off cut the pink with the coffee cups so I've got that available as well and I'll probably be using some of this and some of the digitals so without further ado let's crack on um, I'm probably only going to get the one done and I've got even less room than normal haven't I snuggles she's not even looking at me She's just stoically staring off to the side. It's like, nope, I'm not moving. I am not moving. So let's first just trim off the white border from these pages. And I'm hoping that she'll just get bored and kind of move on. Just, they pick the darndest times to want attention. They really do. And I'm late in the day recording this. Um, because Kelly came home, if you've heard me talk about Kelly, um, she doesn't come home very often. She, you know, sometimes it's once a day for food, sometimes it's not even once a day. And so yesterday she came home for three and a half hours, had food, had lots of cuddles, so an hour of cuddles with me and then a couple of hours or two and a half hours um, curled up on the chair beside me. And then she came home again today and had another hour of cuddles and then around two hours in the chair beside me. So it kind of pushed everything back for me. I can't say no to her. Um, absolutely cannot turn her away because she's so rarely home and she needs that time. So I just made the most of having her in my arms and kind of put my needs aside for hers to tell the truth I need my Kelly cuddles as well she's such a beautiful girl yes you are a beautiful girl too Snuggles she was looking at me like what about me um, but it's really oops sorry guys I just hit the tripod with my foot that was so super clumsy are you still in frame I think so um, sorry I hope I didn't make you dizzy there um, what was I saying? Yeah, I just feel quite pressured now because I'm, that's two days in a row. My schedule has just been pushed aside 
and I've had less time to do things and it's a hugely busy week for me um, and I just feel like I'm not making much headway but it's okay I know at the end of the day it'll all come together I am achieving things that just you know sometimes you achieve but you feel like you haven't or am I the only one who feels like that I'm sure I'm not and sometimes I've just got to take stock of what I've achieved and go you know actually it's okay it is okay and those other things if they don't get done on time the world is not going to end it really isn't um, sometimes we just put so much pressure on ourselves don't we and this is totally self-imposed pressure that I'm feeling I fully acknowledge that things that I want to get done at a certain time um, there is some things I need to do like my collaboration video for Rachel and Bella Crafts for the Be Summer Inspired collaboration that's due out on the 1st of September UK time so probably the second for me which is good because that gives me an extra day because instead of having to get that done for Friday I need to make sure I've got it done for Saturday I've got to keep reminding, reminding myself it's okay so our envelope I don't know whether you've seen these faux front envelopes I don't have any to hand because the ones that I did years ago I've all used and they're, they're long gone um, the idea is you have an envelope in the back that you know you can put stuff in and the front is an arrangement of flaps and pockets and tucks and whatever you would like to do really and normally they're done this way so in the front of an envelope and it opens up and you've got bits and pieces I want to do it slightly different I want to do a vertical one I've never done a vertical one I don't know that I've seen a vertical one but I would like to hinge it into my journal like so like a flip out so that we can access our pocket and then I don't want it to be sideways I want it to be vertical does that make sense so first up I think I need to put my journal aside so that's not in the way Snuggles darling would you like to hop off for mummy Snuggles you're not helping darling she says it's not about helping mummy it's about company right so first off I'm going to cut down a bit of this cardstock to the height that I need so I'm just gonna pop it on the back and I'm going to put a mark pencil mark yep you your paws are in the way snuggles that's the girl I'm struggling for a room yes I am I do love you snuggles yes I do it's not your fault that you're getting in the way or is it oh she's giving me those sleepy cutesy eyes oh I'm just a cat mama I can't ignore my cats Oops, that's not quite lined up properly. Let's run it over a smidge. Yeah, that looks a bit better, I think. It was just a tiny bit. But in my world, a tiny bit matters. Right, keep your paws away, Snuggles. I'm using a sharp knife. Right. Oops, did I... I didn't quite get that at the top. So if I can find Gail's um, original video on these, I will try and link it if I can find it. But I do know it was quite some time ago. And then I will try and remember to put Rachel's video from this morning. Or whenever she put it up. I watched it this morning. Um, now I've got to remember I want to do this vertical and I want round this way. No, no snuggles. Bit of the ephemera blue under her feet and now she's pouring at it. Right, now how wide do I want to make the flap? I think I want to make a, a narrow one and a wider one. But first I need to trim down the card the other way as well. Bit of 
help to have done this at the same time. Never mind. I'm kind of just winging it here, even though I've made them before. And I just watched Rachel make them this morning. I'm just kind of making it my own way. Taking the ideas and just doing whatever. Because that is the essence of it. Is there's so many ways you can make them and customise them. That I'm not trying to copy what either of those ladies did. But just take the concept and go with it. sure I got my coffee cups up the right way right okay so I want to do it into two sections now I want the smaller side to be a little tuck I think a little side pocket come tuck so I need to make it big enough for that Okay, so far so good. Right, so we need to hinge these on so that they open up like so. But I think I would like, oh, well this one's going to be glued down so we don't need to back that. Okay. Do I want to put a little thumb notch in it? This one's going to come over here. It's going to have a little closure of some description. I think I do. I think I'm going to put a little notch in it. Just not too deep. Ink it up because I'm likely to glue it down and forget to ink it. I definitely want it inked to try in with that lovely coffee vibe. Like it's been dipped in coffee. And here I am, I'm making this video and I've got a cup of tea. No, thank darling, you'll get it on your nose. She's a very curious cat, is our Snuggles. Into everything that's new or different, aren't you girl? Now I'm not going to glue anything down just yet um, because I want to make sure that I've got all the bits put on the right order that I need them to go on. So sorry that I'm doing the inking on camera, that's just normal for me. I like to ink and it doesn't take long, it's part of my process. Right, so that's going to be hinged on, so we need to make a hinge for that. She's going to hop down without crashing anything, hopefully. Here we go, and I've got more room now. And I feel a slightly less stressed because of that sort of crowding factor. Okay. Okay, so that's the top layer, it's going to be hinged on. I'm thinking it would be nice to have this in the top there. I think I might just tear it nice and easy. Tear it down. Can't see what I'm doing. Let's try it the other way. Let's try it this way. Looks to be relatively okay. It's not quite centered, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Now that is going to. Hmm, okay. Maybe we push it aside a bit so we don't lose all our coffee word. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's trim it down a bit more. Okay, 
created, whoops, that went wonky, getting all sorts of interesting scraps here. This is not a tutorial, <laughs> in case you were expecting a tutorial, this is definitely not a tutorial. I'm just having some fun making something for this journey. Right, so if we pop that over that side, and then that bit will go over top, and because it's glued down, yes, okay, so this bit I can glue down because it's going to be the bottom layer. Fun scraps. Okay, I'm just going to use my tacky glue for this. Nice and quick and easy. So, how are you today? Are you having a good day? Are you having a crafty day? Or something else? I'm having a good day. Apart from, you know, that sort of feeling of being pressured and losing time due to kids with various needs. Um, I'm, I'm actually having a good day. Um, I am making progress and doing lots of things off camera that need to get done. But in the meantime, I'm just kind of like, I need to get a video done, need to get a video done. So I didn't tear that particularly well, so I'm just going to do a little trim up. Like so. And it's not straight down that, end, uh, that side, but this is going to be hinged. So the hinge is going to sit over that edge, so it's not a problem. Um, okay, so this is going to be side tucked. Do I want to glue this down yet? Do, do I, do I, do I? Talk about decisions. It is a little bit more tricky because I'm choosing to do it vertical, so I haven't got a lot of width to work with. So I'm wondering, do I want to put... A pocket here and if so what am I going to put in it because it's going to be quite narrow do I want to flip down again it's going to be quite narrow oh I do have an idea I'm going to glue this down because either way whatever I do there it's not going to be over top of this and it's not going to be underneath this it's going to have to be beside so let's just glue this on now This side could be flip out as well, and then you could put a pocket, when it, when it flips out it could have a pocket on the other side, but I just decided to make it a little unopenable side. Right, there we go, and I'll further decorate these up as well. Right, I think I want to put my hinge on now, so I need something to use for the hinge. What would I like? Would I like scrapbook paper? Could use another bit of the pink. Is this bit I tore off? No, I don't want to use that. Um, I could use a bit of this. No, don't want to use this. I think I'm tending towards this. Um... Is this big enough? No, it's not. Okay, that's a shame. Um, this one's... No, we won't be using that. Just looking else. What else around me that might work? I've got this scrapbook paper as well. And it's got some browns in it, so I'm wondering, we could go wood grain. Or there's this dark brown as well. This one, which is slightly pinky. So, I'm just going to... And this is lighter paper than uh, this pink. 
sorry, heavier than photocopy paper, but lighter than this one, which is more cardstocky. Okay, right. So we need a piece of the length of this. I just realized I've got the dishwasher on. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I hope it's not distracting if you can. I I'd, I'd, uh, put it on and then tuned it out. Oops, took a little sliver of my top panel. Never mind. Okay. And I'm going to make the hinge... Oh, about an inch or so. I don't know, it might be too wide. We'll just see. Just trim it out and then we can play with it. Now, I am going to use a scoreboard um, just because it helps me fold straighter. You absolutely do not need to use a scoreboard and normally I wouldn't. So that is actually nearly bang on an inch wide just slightly yeah no it is so I can go right down I should have done it the other way to do the right fold but never mind it'll still work because that is going to be my valley and I should have done it as a peak not the end of the world it will still matter uh, still work although I did go wonky there this is supposed to help me fold straight <laughs> right I'm gonna give it a little angle snip so that these bits don't show and at the top and bottom And let's see whether I've made it too wide. So we'll join on. Like so. I think we could trim it down a bit. Just, just a little. I'm being very pedantic here. It doesn't actually matter. It would be fine, left as it is. But I'm working with a really narrow space, so I just want to not take up, you know, too much space. And this is a dark paper, so it's quite dominant. So I'm getting ready to send out my next newsletter that hopefully will be out on Friday. So if you're not signed up for my newsletter, um, go in the description box below this video. Um, there's a link to sign up for the newsletter. I only send out once a month at the beginning of the month. And it's, um, it's not a huge newsletter. It has freebies. It has uh, quick tips. has a little something, little personal story about me, you know, just in the interest of getting to know each other. Um... And usually has a discount code attached as well for my Etsy shop. Now, which way am I putting this? This goes on the side. Um, so if you want to get in for September's newsletter, then head along and sign up. Just a small newsletter, just growing it. So, yeah, and I promise it does not, will not mean you get spammed a lot. It's just one newsletter. A month full of helpful well I hope helpful bits and pieces and some cool printable freebies for you to play with right so we can pop this on now might pop that flat actually there we go beautiful it's working nicely so far. Everything's lining up properly. Well, pretty much properly. Opens up. 
and then we've got a little tuck here so we can pop a little little something in there actually that would be a cool thing to pop in there let's sorry reaching again grab my little funky scissors and give it that fun edge because the printable has a fun edge but I'm not going to take a regular pair of scissors and go in and out to cut that out so these like literally a couple of bucks kid scissors work beautifully for this and then any white bits left that's what you have ink for Get that bit very well. There we go. I just wish they made these scissors longer, really. You know, you've got to do so many stops and starts. But that's okay. It's actually easier to control when it's shorter lengths. There we go. Get that a nice dark edge and take away any white that's left behind and I'm just going to leave it um, plain on the back so it's a good writing spot I don't mind the white I could run the sponge over it and just tone down the white if I wanted to it's crumbs everywhere. Good thing it's a coffee bean journal and little co uh, vintage photo ink streaks are just going to look like it's part of it. So that's going to tuck in under there. Cute. Like that. Now it's still pondering about something here. Could do a small pocket you could do a little that's a bit tall for what i'm thinking it's a bit wide get rid of those scissors now Cut that down, that could work. Because I can always print it again to use it as a, a something else. So I'm going to trim it right up to that book, I think. And I'm using the design on the paper to cut. It's going to be a super narrow little pocket. Let's just check that I'm... Go out a bit further on the side. The design's no longer centered, but I don't think it will matter. And then take it down at the top here and keep this bit that I'll cut off because that's a little cute heart design there. I'm sure, we can use that on something. Now, so I could turn this into a little pocket, just a, a little little pocket there or I could have it as a flip down which is another option and I kind of like the idea of a flip down because it's really by the time it gets glued in it's going to be so narrow although it's like this guest check would fit in there and that's kind of cute too. So let me see what it's going to look like. That in there, that takes out. Then if this was a pocket, then we have a little bit there. Or we could have the best of two worlds. 
Having a look. There is another part of the guest check. Have I used it already? Oh, I just buried it. Maybe I've used it. Actually, I think I have used it. Yeah, see, that's too wide. Um, okay, I am going to hinge it. Uh, but I'm not going to use a paper hinge. I'm going to use washi tape. What do we think of that one? No, maybe not. Go my vintage ticket one. Yeah, that one will look better just because of the colours. Just gonna take off that torn one on the end there. do like this ticket tape washi tape that's very cute took me ages to begin using it because I I wanted to hoard it and I still do kind of hoard it um, but I'm less precious or trying to be less precious okay there we go And another bit on the inside. Oops. A little bit extra over there. There we go. Tiny wee sliver. Okay, so we've got a little flip up there, so I'm just going to give it a wee burnish so it will sit, sit flat, like so. So there we've got writing space here, writing space on the back there. We've got our little, ah, oh, darn it, forgot to ink it. Why didn't you yell at me, or were you? You probably were, weren't you? You were, you were telling me. Ink it up, ink it up, and I wasn't listening. I'm sorry, my friend. Maybe yell a little louder next time. It's all good. You can still get it. And the washi tape, the there, the washi tape hides that edge, so we wouldn't wouldn't have mattered about that edge anyway. So no drama. Not really. All done. Right, so we've got that there. We have our little card tucked into the side here. Right, so we've got this side. I need a sip of my tea just a moment. I'm feeling very dry all of a sudden. Okay looking at what I might want to pop on here I love this little ink bottle with the quill it's cute and out of the words have I got anything that's quite short I think they're quite long from memory way too long to fit on that small gap oh I've got a scrap of brown paper don't know what that's doing in there rose wax seal okay I'm liking that I know I haven't finished constructing and I'm decorating aren't I I can't help myself it 
just want to. That's all there is to it. I just want to. That's quite cute, a little today. Maybe you could do a wee happy. Oh, happy's nice. This is um, stamped onto. Um, it's shiny on one side, so I'm not exactly sure. Some sort of tissue or light paper. Feels almost waxy on one side. Not quite sure. Can't remember. Might take a little bit off the top. So when it's glued down, it does go more transparent. Yeah, I like that. Right, let's ink these up. Because there's no right or wrong way. Like you don't have to make the whole thing and then decorate the whole thing. You can do it in whatever order you like, whatever works for you. And I was just inspired to start decorating while I think about the next step. So that's what I'm doing. I don't think I need any book page or anything behind it. But certainly could if you wanted to, or a bit of music or something. Don't want to damage that little foamy bit at the top there. Um, this I'm not going to ink our word because I want the the paper to kind of blend in more with the background. Like so. That's nice, I like that. Right. This might not need inking because it's got a black border. Just give it a quick run around. And this, just in case there's any white that I've missed when I cut it out. Go. Beautiful day today. I've been for a little wander outside just to the letterbox and back. Because hubby had a parcel arrive for him, so I collected that out of the letterbox. And it's beautiful, but it is still quite cool. That air is cool. You know, we're not quite in spring yet. And even once we are in spring, it doesn't mean that suddenly it's all, you know, warm and lovely. No, we've still got a journey to go before we have consistent warm days. Okay, so that side is done. Now we need to think about this side. And we need a tab for a closure. Um, have we got anything in the ephemera? Oh, this is hard. That could be cute. It's just going to sit there. It's not going to actually tuck in or anything. It's just going to sit over top of the two, I think. Um, I quite like that. I think I like it better than the cup because I've already got coffee down here. Um, I mean, you could make it so that it tucks into that little side bit there which I actually kind of like as well decisions no no again I don't don't think I want another coffee cup Although I could get away with that because it would balance out. One at the top, one at the bottom. Okay, we could do that so that it is an option to put it in. 
under the thing. The thing, you know what I mean? That thing over there. <laughs> the side pocket. I'm not being very clear, am I? And I should have inked this. Can I quickly do it before that glue dries without getting it on the sponge? Very, very warm in here. Um, so let's hope. Yeah, there we go. I suspected I didn't get glue all the way I needed it. Oops, and then I just succeeded in putting it where I don't need it. Never mind. Rub it off. It'll be good. So there is that option to then tuck that under if one would like, like so, just as a closure. Okay, yes, like that. Okay, do we want that up there? We could use that one. Not sure which way around that goes. I can't remember. Um it on my glue just while I'm fiddling or maybe some of our words might be good here coffee because adulting is hard now we could make that work by cutting it up more which I think I'm gonna do so I'm gonna cut it down the middle between the lines There. And cut it there. And then we can do a fun little arrangement. Something like that. Yes, I like that. Okay, let's sync it up then and glue it down. So again, I'm still decorating, aren't I? That's alright though, because quite often in the projects I don't get time for the decorating and I'm just doing the base construction. So this way you will actually get both, I hope. And when you chop words apart like this, of prime concern is making sure you glue them down in the correct order. Unless you're deliberately trying to make it say something different, which would work with some things. But with other things, you just want to make sure you get everything in the right order. Because otherwise it's not going to make a heck of a lot of sense. And, well, really just become a talking point for years to come. So coffee because that's the first part and I haven't worried about evening up the spacing around the words I've just left it as it was because that gives me a little bit of room to play and overlap and make it look fun Right, adulting, so do I want the adulting underneath or on top? I think I want it underneath. And our final words. I like that. I think that's fun. That is lots of fun. So, you know, if something doesn't fit, don't be afraid to chop it up, to cut it into separate bits. You could even, on this, even though it, it kind of flows together, you could 
cut right around each of the words. You could still make it work. Just grabbing another sip of my tea there. Okay, so that's decorated. We still need to do the back. And we still need to do this side. How are we going on time, guys? Oh, we're rocketing on. I need to make it make it snappy. Need to snap it up a bit. Right. What would that look like there? I think that would look quite nice. could use that same paper as I used on the other side but I want to just make it a little bit different how's that straight doesn't look straight to me try that okay and that's too wide that is way too wide okay Um, how are we going to do this? I think with a craft knife might be easiest. Probably make it too narrow now. Because I'm not taking time to properly measure it or anything. I haven't got time for that. I've got to, got to, got to keep going. Snap, snap. <laughs> Giving myself a wee pep talk here. And that is fine. Now, do I want the flower at the top or do I want the coffee pot at the bottom? Because if I put it... Yeah, I need to do it that way. Otherwise, I get like just a bit of the coffee pot and it doesn't really make much sense then. So that flower, I think we're going to get that off intact. So that'll be a nice snippet for something else. Yeah, so that's going to be a lovely little piece for something. So this is quite a simple version. It hasn't got all the flips and flaps and pockets and things that one can put in it. Uh, partly because of time. Partly because I've chosen to do it a vertical format rather than the horizontal. And the horizontal you've got more, more space to play with things. Because this way things are too narrow um, to do you know, a lot of fancy things with. But I still think it's going to be really cute and useful and fun. Okay, so I'm going to give that a yeah, big, big crumb there. That was a giant sponge crumb. Right still on my desk get rid of that okay so take this out yes I like the two different papers I think that works really nicely okay I like this coffee pot and coffee down here and the beans in the background do I want to make anything else for that I think I'm just going to leave it as writing space and so that's going to can tuck in or it can just sit over top so I think I'm just going to tuck it actually no because I haven't finished right so this is going to glue onto the page so I want something to cover the inside of the envelope that's you know a bit, a bit prettier is that going to fit in there I think that might actually oh look at that it's pretty darn good. Okay, and I want it about where it's positioned too. So I'm just going to go ahead, leave it where it is, put some glue on. And glue it down. Just like that. 
now we have a pretty in inside to our envelope flap. Now I'm just going to trim it around. Oops, been a bit wonky there. Never mind, it's all good. Okay, now when that's dry, I will fold it along the crease line so that it will still hinge onto our page. Now we've just got this back piece here. So that would be rather pretty on the back, wouldn't it? So let's do that. But this is a little bit trickier to do. The, ins the back. So let's just see how we get on. I'm conscious I'm running out of time. straight here to there okay so I've done it to the whole back side there now I'm going to slip it in hopefully it fits slip it inside come on because I've made it the exact size, so it, it's not an easy fit. It needs to be slightly smaller, but I need it to be the right size, the exact size of the envelope for this to work. Hopefully it works. So, sitting it down in there. And now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace along that line. so trim it up and hopefully it'll go down perfectly over top of our back and have a perfectly covered back if it's not well ink covers a multitude of issues doesn't it that bit away I think and that's pretty darn good I am actually quite happy with that okay let's glue it down I'm feeling a lot better prepared for the collaboration video that I've got to do um, while I was watching Rachel and Bella's video this morning I was busy preparing the things that I need for my project so I'm feeling quite good about it I did a sample version just so I knew it would work um, and pretty happy with it so that will be out at the end of this week keep an eye out for that and for the rest of the collaborators there's a different person every day Monday to Saturday doing a video in the collaboration and then on Sundays and this is UK time not New Zealand time on Sundays Rachel Bella does a video and has freebies and then does a project with those freebies um, so it's well worth following i I've watched almost all of them. I'm a day or two behind, so I've still got a couple I need to catch up on. But the projects coming out of these lovely people 
uh, mostly ladies but there is the odd guy in there as well which is lovely um, just really super cool projects and this um, faux front envelope was Rachel, Rachel's um, Sunday her latest video for the collaboration and so she's got freebies available on her Kofi or coffee depending how you like to pronounce it um, to go along with that project okay so there we go we can fold that now glue should be well and truly dry I was thinking oh I've got to cover this no dear no that's going to be glued down don't need to cover that okay so journal kind of make myself a bit of room here Oops. and find which page I believe I was meaning it for this page now do I want to make this attack I don't think I need to make that attack because we've got an envelope there so we're just going to glue it down sponge crumbs driving me nuts okay so i'm going to glue it quite close to the edge but not right on the edge so i still need to make something to go inside this envelope that's all right and i'm just going to Pop it right in the middle between the top and bottom border designs. Try and make it straight. Yeah, I think making that attack, although you certainly could, I think in this case would have just been a bit of overkill. Totally unnecessary. So we have beautiful writing space here. You could even write on the flap there, although I am tempted to like just pop a little something. Mm, no, probably not needed. Got writing space on the back here. We'll have writing space and whatever we pop in there. And then open this up. We've got writing space. We've got little writing space. We've got writing space. Lots of writing space. So tuck that back in there. And then our wee flap, we can either leave it loose or we can tuck it under our side pocket, like so. And that's just quite nice to keep it all closed. So I know I've already done a flip in here, which I haven't finished, which side's it on. I've lost it, there it is. So, but that's okay, we've got a different flip, one on one side and one on the other. And they're different, different style, different look. And I think that's beautiful. I think that's really fun. And just working with the elements from the kit just decorates it up so beautifully. Gorgeous. There we go, guys. That's my video for today. I hope you find it inspiring. Uh, I would appreciate if you could put a like and a comment down below in the comment section. I love hearing from you. I love your feedback. I love you when you say hi. And I just really appreciate you keeping me company today. Thanks for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.